Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm gonna show you how to use a rinse pod on this Keurig K-Compact. So I just brewed this Nightly Calm tea. These teas are really strong. And you get some residual. Um, I took the K-Cup out already. This is what the tea K-Cup looks like. But there's such a different taste than a coffee. You're gonna taste the residualness inside this, um, where the K-Cup goes and from the top too. So you can do a hot water rinse. So say I'm done, this is my tea, it tastes really good. So at the very least, you should just make sure there's no K-cup in there and run, a, run an eight ounce fresh water rinse through there. That will get most of the tea out of there, but they do sell these, these um, rinse pods. So I don't know if you can see, but that water is a little discolored and I can smell the tea coming out of that water there. So there's a fresh water rinse. I'm gonna throw this out and then we'll do a rinse. But if you, you could do a rinse before you did the, the fresh, the rinse, the, this pod, the rinse pod would take the place of a fresh water rinse. But you still have to do a fresh water rinse after you do the rinse pod. Okay, so I've got the rinse pod. We're gonna treat it, it it's got a like a powder in there. I've opened it up. They, it really doesn't say what it is, but. So we just put it in there like a normal K-cup. We're gonna close it. Then we're gonna do an eight ounce brew. And it really foams up. I wanna show you this foaming. So we're just gonna do eight ounce. See how you get that good foaming action from it? It doesn't smell. And the water is really clear. So even though we use this rinse pod, we still have to do a fresh water rinse to get. So we have to rinse the rinse pod, which you end up using a little bit, a lot of water. But it's actually really good to do sometimes. I wasn't a big fan of these rinse pods till I used one and saw how much kind of gunk it gets out. I was doing fresh water rinses thinking I was getting it really clean, but these, these rinse pods actually get it a little bit cleaner. So we're going to lift it up. We just throw this away. We can recycle that. There's no coffee in there. Nothing that there's nothing in there. It's empty. But then I'm going to leave this empty and I've, now I've got to do just a fresh water rinse. Okay. Again, so nothing's in there. Now I just, it says just to do a six ounce rinse. This will be just plain water through there to rinse the rinse pod. So there's my fresh water rinse. It says to do another six ounce fresh water rinse. So you don't have to use these rinse pods every time you brew a tea, you know, and somebody else is gonna brew a coffee, but it, it doesn't hurt to do it once in a while. At the very least, you do need to do a fresh water rinse between different types of flavors. So again, this is just a dad. If you got any comments on how I did this, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.